Hi there. I'm here to do my video review for Swim Tails, the mermaid tail company. Um, there's been a lot of controversy over them, and I understand some of it, but not all of it, uh, considering a lot of the problems are problems every tail maker has, uh, like not enough communication or updates, but um, my personal experience is what I'm going to count. And uh, I can't rave enough about this company. Um, the tails are very high quality. The material is amazingly comfortable, stretchy, and durable. And the prints are very detailed. The ink is very saturated. None of mine have faded, even when left out in the sun. Um, I use them in an extremely chlorinated pool in my gym, and no problems at all. Um, so let's see, I first tail I ordered from them was a Fusion Beta, and uh, after that I believe I got the uh, Poison Siren, and um, then when I had placed another order for two tails in November, all the problems went down, and uh, the orders were cancelled, and I got an email saying I'd get a refund, and... When they did open back up, here's a discount code, and in the meantime, you know, please go to Mer Taylor, yada yada. And uh, I waited, and I didn't see a refund, so I emailed them, and I didn't get a response right away. And I messaged them on Facebook and sent more emails, and I did get a response eventually that said, um that the emails were, I mean, the refunds were processed. So I didn't have any. So I checked my accounts again. One had been paid with PayPal, the other with a credit card. Um, and nothing. So I messaged them again. And they provided me their receipts, their statements, that showed that they issued the refund. Um... So I waited some more, and I became really agitated, and I know I sent them a message saying as much, that, that, I, was, that I was really, you know, disappointed, and starting to not feel like I trust them, especially with all of the, all of the things going on on the, on the internet group pages complaining. Um, but after they had showed me the receipts, I decided to check my PayPal. There had been one pending for over a month. So I contacted using chat, the PayPal help team, and they were just like, oh yeah, we just have to push that through. Here you go. Three seconds, I had my refund. So it was PayPal's fault. Uh, my credit card, I called, and they said there was nothing pending, so I filed a Not exactly fraudulent, but a fraudulent charge, um, saying that I never got the product, and the refund cleared in, like, a day, um, which normally it takes longer, so I'm thinking that as soon as they looked into it, they saw something there. So I had my money back. Um, and then a few months later, when they reopened in January, I took a chance and I ordered a tail using the discount code they provided and I was able to order a new tail with a discount and uh, it came after six weeks no problem so I ordered another I had had two orders that were cancelled with a discount that came no problem and then I found out they, they would be willing to customize tails I got the golden goddess customized to a black and gold I got the Koi Pro Tail, customized to like a raspberry purple with gray and black. Uh, I love them. Uh, I have problems with the tail not slipping down a lot, uh, and Christy on Instagram, uh, because she saw in my video with my black oil slick Cleopatra tail that you could see my bathing suit bottom because the top was supposed to be skin matched. And I was like, yeah, they all slipped down. She's like, oh, well, when you place an order, or if you have any pending, message us or in the comments of the order, just say, I need it 
this many inches longer and we'll do it. And I was like, awesome. <laughs> and, and then she's like, because I went a size up to try to help the situation and it did on one tail but not on another. And she's like, oh, you can just give us your measurements and we'll make the tail for that. Like, Are you serious? No other company does that. I wanted, uh, I got the lionfish tail, which I have yet to showcase, um, and I wanted extra of those beautiful hip fins to make a top with, and they were able to supply that request. I have an extra pair of the giant lionfish hip fins, um, so they've been wonderful. All the products are great. Everything fits the Mahina. The Mahina can tear up my feet. I've discovered that wearing scuba socks with it pretty much helps the problem. I also went up a size in the Mahina because I have wide feet. Um, and uh, if I use wide ace bandages on the heel strap, I can use them to pull it on easier because my, my feet don't like the Mahina. But the Linden body glove does fit in at least the beta tails um, because I've used it in a beta tail. Um, I might have used it in the Cleopatra also. I'll have to check. But, uh, yeah, I mean, so there, there's that option too. I don't know if the Linden would fit in every tail if you happen to hate the Mahina. But I think it's nice that you can get all these tails one monofin. Some companies, different monofins per tail. And the flukes are different shapes. They have the same vinyl insert that other companies with the extra large loops use um, but they use velcro to hold them together a velcro loop and it doesn't cause any rub on the inside of the tail it's just really high quality and anytime i've noticed a problem like with drainage or anything and i let her know uh usually christy through instagram because she's always updating instagram because it seems to be the happening media right now for mermaids and She's very responsive um, and pleasant. Um, I, however, also approach people pleasantly even when I have a problem until it's escalated to a certain point and then I've been less than classy. But <laughs> for the most part, I love swim tails. Uh, their products have been wonderful. I understand that lots of people have had problems and I understand that they have taken a while to respond to me sometimes. Um, usually we get emails, um, but I've noticed with the last couple of orders, I get email updates. Your tail is now in printing with our sublimation dye printer. Your tail is now in the queue for our seamstress. Um, like your order, first your order has been generated, you know, after my, your original email, like, thanks for your order. And then, hey, we're now, like, getting all your info from your order and doing something with it. Now we're printing it. And, now the seamstress is, is doing her thing and or his thing and um and then here comes it's shipping and i like that they're now shipping in tubes it's so much easier than those humongous boxes um and i've reused the tubes a couple times <laughs> they're pretty helpful for like fabric and posters and i sold a tail to someone and i used that tube to send them the tail um, so, I mean, they're, they're trying to do well. They, they're putting out all these new designs there. I know that there was a fiasco with them using a design that they didn't realize they didn't have the full rights for. And, uh, I do know, um, I am privy to the fact that they were working with the artist until someone else came along and, and insisted that it was a bigger deal um, and then it became this huge public war which is really unprofessional um, and there was a public apology by Swim Tales which I actually think was good um, but the whole there, there's, there seems to be groups of people trying to slander them and they do these massive public posts and most of the complaints I hear from other mermaids they're just passing along third hand this one complaint over and over and over and it's like when you play telephone and it changes up a little bit and I don't think it's fair to 
I think it's fine to be like, hey, I heard this person had problems, maybe check with them. Or hey, I heard there's problems, you might want to look into it. But to be like, hey, they're, they're harassive. I know, someone had screenshots. Okay, were they to you? Did you have ex this experience? Do you have the screenshots? No? This I can't stand. It's unfair. They're a small company. They're a smaller company than the other large tail makers. Um, and they're, they're trying very hard. When they shut down, uh, that was the right thing to do for them at the time. It wasn't handled the best at the beginning because they really, I believe, tried to make it work and it wasn't and things were backfiring and they had employee problems and um, they had to shut down and clean house and get a, their house in order and then went back into um, selling tails and they've been great since. Um, I don't think they've always stuck to the time schedule but I usually have a customized tail and it's it's not it's gonna have a longer um, uh, it's gonna take longer um, but also uh, during last summer I had a tail that was late and then I looked on the website and it it, it did say that, like we're behind because it's a busy season so there's an extra three weeks and a lot of people didn't see that um, but the other tail makers that I've ordered from aren't sticking to their timelines either um, and when I ask swim tails about it they're like, yes, we're behind, we're still trying to push through, and they try to stay positive, and they're like, hopefully next week, and sometimes they're right, sometimes they're not. And the other tail makers kind of do the same thing. They're just like, yep, we're working on it, or it'll be a while, and no actual answers. So I think that's a problem um, in the business in general. I don't like that. No one likes dishonesty. You just be up front. Be like, hey, you know, it's going to take a while. We're really far behind. Super sorry about that. And people will be like, oh, okay. Rather than being frightened that they've just dropped 300 plus dollars and they're not getting anything out of it. That's a frightening thing, especially for some people who really struggle to get that money together. I think I'm talking funny in this review. This is not how my voice normally sounds. So, and I'm trying to keep my language nice. I'm in Massachusetts and vulgarity is all common language here. They're just sentence enhancers, like on Spongebob. Um, but regardless, uh, I don't work for Swimtails. I do buy a lot of their products. Um, I've basically befriended Christy through Instagram because I'll ask her questions and, or I'll comment on something I see posted and we'll get to chatting. Um, but I don't know her like personal life, things like that. So I have no um, ulterior motive to say these things other than I love their products and I feel bad for people who refuse to order from them because they don't get these awesome tales. Um, and they can have customizations. They're the first company that had extra fins and they do them well. They're flat. They're not, you know, they won't hold water or cause drag. They don't fray. They don't fade. I've never had one rip off. Um, you can get the colors customized, the print customized, as long as it's a print that they offer somewhere in their line. The shape of the fluke changed to the shape of a fluke of another tail they have. They're they're pretty great to work with, and uh, I mean I do agree that communication is the biggest thing they can work on, and um, timelines, not necessarily. I mean being better at meeting them, but also extending them or being upfront about them being late. And I think that's something all tail makers need to work on, not just them, but if they can do it, then that'll put them above everyone else. Um, so that's my honest review. Uh, I can go around and take pictures of a bunch of the tails I have, but if you check my Instagram at mermaid.chaos, you'll see that I own way too many tails, or not enough. <laughs>